In order to solve this quadratic inequality, what I like to do is go ahead and factor the left side first, where we get x plus 3 times x minus 2. And then, in order to find the x-intercepts, what I'm going to do is change that greater than or equal sign into an equal sign, and then solve for x, where we get negative 3 and positive 2. Next, draw the number line and mark negative 3 and the 2, the x-intercepts, and notice that the circles are closed because it's greater than or equal. If it was only greater, then it would have been open circles at negative 3 and 2. Next, I'd like to go ahead and pick a number on the left side of negative 3, such as negative 4, and plug it in to this factor form of the inequality, where negative 4 plus 3 will be negative, and negative 4 minus 2 will be negative, and negative times negative is positive, which is greater than 0. So I'm going to put yes on the left side of negative 3. Notice here that there is no need to get the exact values when you do a negative 3 plus 3. We just need to know whether it's positive or negative in order to find out if it's going to be greater than or equal 0. Next, I'd like to pick a number between negative 3 and 2. And 0 is usually a good number. If I take 0, again, plug it into this factor form of inequality, I get 0 plus 3 times 0 minus 2. And we want to find out if that's greater than or equal 0. 0 plus 3 is positive. 0 minus 2 is negative. Positive times negative is negative, which is not true. So I'm going to put the word no between negative 3 and 2. And then finally, let's pick a number on the right side of the 2, such as 3 again. Plug it into the factor form of the quadratic inequality, where we get 3 plus 3 times 3 minus 2, and it's going to be positive times positive, which is positive, and it's greater than 0. So I'm going to put the word yes right here. Then here's our final answer. It's going to be where x is less than or equal negative 3 for the left side and including negative 3, or x is greater than or equal to on the right side of the 2 and including the value of 2. And as an additional bonus, we could rewrite this in the interval notation. And the way to do it is negative infinity, notice the parentheses on the left side, comma up to negative 3, bracket because it includes the number negative 3 union bracket 2 because again it includes the number 2 comma positive infinity parentheses whenever it's infinity it's always going to be parentheses and when it includes the numbers such as the negative 3 and 2 it's going to be the brackets as always thanks for watching my videos and don't forget to hit that like button